So then some of you say this question. Now, no offense, because I know there's people in the room who teach this. Did you have a budget in mind? Let me help you out. First of all, they don't have a budget in mind. And number two, most of you sell products and services that they don't want to buy, but they need to have. When was the last time you woke up and said, hey, honey, hey, let's get some waterproofing today. Let's buy a roof. Let's throw a party. Our friends will come over and love our roof. I mean, they don't do this. So very few of us have products and services. Now, maybe a sunroom. You buy a sunroom, you throw a party in the sunroom. You, you, whether it's two people or 20 people, you're probably going to have some fun in the sunroom. But for most of us here, we're selling products that people need but do not want to buy. So... I do want to know if they have prices. So what's the question I ask them? Here's the secret question. And under here, it's called product preference. I say something like this. Mr. and Mrs. Holmes, the last thing I want to do in the few minutes we spend together tonight is to show you things you've already seen or tell you things you already know. So help me narrow this down. What kind of windows have you seen that you liked? What kind of roofing have you seen that you like? What have you seen in other people's basements that has helped prevent the water that you think sounds like a good idea for you? And so you're not saying, have you had estimates as someone been out here? What have you seen that you liked? And people will say, well, you know, I saw this window. It had three panes of glass in it. And boy, that seemed to be really energy efficient. Oh, I said, yeah, I've seen some of those. Some of those are really awesome. By the way, where'd you see that? And they might say they saw it at a big box. They might tell you that, well, we had somebody out. Oh, good. So you've done some shopping already. Good idea. So now you're getting to the point where you're finding out, if you will, what they have seen. Now, if they start to tell you a little bit about it, what kind of window was it? Well, it was made of fiberglass. That should narrow down your competitors. Well, it was made of, they start to tell you a product. Well, I saw the shingle. It was metal uh, shingle. Oh, really? Uh, was it the one that went out straight up and down, the one that looked like a shingle? Oh, it was the one that looked like a shingle. Oh, those are gorgeous. Uh, did you like it? Well, yes, but. Well, oh, yes, we loved it. Or we like the one that goes vertical. They didn't have that one. doesn't matter. This is where they're starting to talk to you about your shopping. If you haven't mentioned yourself, if you haven't mentioned your company, if you haven't told them how wonderful you are and you're focused on them and you're keeping the questions moving quickly and you're responding to what you say instead of just saying, uh-huh, 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 you can actually get people to talk more. Those are called prods.